Here's something to think about. Do results really matter to you? Karen Handel hasn't spent her career as a Washington, D.C. politician. Instead, she's delivered real results for Georgia. As chairman of the Fulton County Board of Commissioners, Karen closed a $100 million budget gap without raising taxes. As Secretary of State, Karen cut her office spending 20%. She implemented photo ID and successfully fought the Obama administration to ensure that only U.S. citizens could vote in Georgia. But career politicians Jack Kingston, Phil Gingry, and Paul Brown have served a combined 40 plus years in Washington. And what do we have to show for it? Since 2007, our national debt has nearly doubled. Jack Kingston serves on the powerful Appropriations Committee, but he hasn't been a leader on cutting spending. Kingston and Phil Gingry have voted to raise the debt limit numerous times by trillions of dollars. And what about Paul Brown? Well, it's tough to be effective when you don't show up to work. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution reported that Brown has skipped more than two-thirds of his committee hearings, including ones on homeland security and border security. So what are Kingston, Gingry, and Brown doing when they're not part of a Congress that delivers bad results? They're taking tens of thousands of dollars in gifts to cover the cost of lavish trips. When we reviewed Jack Kingston's free travel from third parties, we found a $22,000 business class trip to Israel with his daughter, along with forged signatures we confirmed on some of his ethics permission forms. Congressman Phil Gingry received even more in travel and meals from third party groups, some $58,000 in all. The anti-union National Right to Work Legal Defense Foundation gave Brown and his wife a three-day trip to Amelia Island in Florida so Brown could deliver a speech one of the nights of the trip. After spending millions on their salaries, what are the results? Reckless spending, a $17 trillion debt, over-taxation and over-regulation. Georgia's hardworking taxpayers deserve a refund. We deserve leaders who will work for us not for themselves. A leader like Karen Handel. So if results matter to you, it's time to elect a proven conservative to the U.S. Senate. Karen Handel.